From one holiday celebration to a holiday tradition for many families this time of year, going to see the Nutcracker. And if you want to catch it here in the Bay Area, there is one place to do so, and that's at Stras. We're excited, and it's becoming a morning blend tradition to welcome Philip Neal, Artistic Director for Next Generation Ballet, to our show along with some dancers standing by, ready to kick. Right? I, I am excited. loving this. And notice we said kick, and yet we're uh -huh. talking about the Nutcracker. I know. Oh, yes, do it's explain. still a ballet. <laughs> but I like to add new elements every year. And as part of our curriculum at the school, we have what we call Just for Kicks. It's the Rocket style, um, military, sort of very regimented uh, dancing style. And I'm adding that into the second act of Nutcracker. So our JFK dancers are going to appear, like actually right before the Sugar Plum Fairy does. So it's still a ballet, but I wanted to bring in some elements like you might see at Radio City Spectacular. Which, and I was saying, in Tampa, it's been yeah. a while since a show mm -hmm. like that has been here around the holidays. Well, so I, I used haven't to, seen I used it to yet. dance Nutcracker with New York City Ballet at Lincoln Center, but I used to love to run to go to Radio City to see that. So I thought, why don't I bring them all together at once? And our lead contemporary teacher, Kelly King, choreographed it. She was a Rockette and the Rockettes dance captain. So what you're seeing is very authentic. I, I cannot yeah. wait. And in fact, when you were talking about the show this year, I know there are always some little things that are new. If you haven't seen it or maybe saw it last year, there's always new elements, mm -hmm. including tap. Tap in the first act. Oh, I know. Oh. Well, I'm a Broadway baby. I love ballet, but I love Broadway too. So I found a way within the, the party scene, which is like a Victorian mm -hmm. ballroom. So the to, music didn't change the with music any of this. It's not changing. See, Nutcracker is really fun because someone like me is always trying to put a new spin on it and bring people to the ballet not be afraid and then like make them fall in love with the ballet then they come back and they see us in the spring <laughs> um but yeah there's a tap dancing toy soldier in the first act dancing right next to clara who's on point so it's it's a real melange of different things and, and there are a lot of children in the production so i think children sit in the audience see themselves mm -hmm. and they get inspired sometimes they come and study at the conservatory mm -hmm. <laughs> but, it, but it's it's done beautifully. The production is spectacular. It's you know fully costumed and produced, and I think it's a great first introduction to ballet. But we have people coming back every year because mm -hmm. they know I'm going to do something different yeah. every year. Hey, well, I took my family last year. Can't wait to go mm -hmm. again this year. Why do you think this is such a holiday tradition? I mean, seriously, families they go every year. And I think the Florida families love the snow scene. Yeah. Because they don't That's see the snow. I lived in New York it. and yeah. I went to school in New Hampshire. I don't need no more snow in my life. But it literally snows on stage. Yeah. It's not wet snow. It's fake snow. <laughs> but you know, they go to this beautiful the snow scene and I think I think people really enjoy that. It is an event. You know, you walk in and there's the choir outside yeah. and you go in and, and it's very family friendly and I think it's very warm and engaging and it moves very, very quickly. So if you have children, yeah. you know, I try to keep it tight the show so thank it you we too appreciate long. that or, yep. or husbands <laughs> i took my husband even before we had our little one because he had never seen the nutcracker yet so everybody it's such a fun yeah. event we need to share now details so people can go and get their tickets and still come out and strasscenter.org is going to tell you everything you know we have five shows this year so it's next weekend the 21st through the 23rd right Christmas, friday yeah. saturday and sunday two shows on saturday and two on sunday a matinee sells really really well for families that like to come but you can see it all on strasscenter.org it's well, let's see well. these girls kick away now, shall I we? I can't wait. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming again. We Thank appreciate you for it. Having we'll me. send it over to the girls.